And all right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the week one group session of Create Your Vision. And I, um, you know, just a few housekeeping rules. I uh, want to keep this class to about an hour uh, because there's only the three of us uh, for the first class. Um, it'll be a little shorter, I'm sure. And, and to give introductions and takeaways on the, on the videos and the content and any questions that we have. And um, I'll do a, um, and takeaways from your, from the, the, ah, from the videos, you know, and I also want to work on everybody's why their mission statements and vision statements and um, talk about gratitude journal today. So welcome. Um, okay. Who wants to go first? Well, I will because I already have all this done because of okay. the truth. And um, I loved your video and the I love the grabs. I haven't heard that before. Gratitude, release, acknowledge, believe, and share. And I like how the first one, like this first week, you're really introducing us to what we visualize, we receive, how we need to get our why, our mission statements, and our, our vision first, and then, then we're moving into health, right? This week is health. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so this want us to just make sure that we have our why, our mission, our vision statements, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and to, you know, well, and, and to start on health because, because there's six different areas already. So, as, as you're already working on health this week, you know, and, and thinking about your why for health. So, um, in turn, yeah. Yeah, and the other thing I really liked was your law of vision recording and how it uh, goes along with planning your life, living by assignment and not allowing fear to stop us from putting that on our vision boards. So mm -hmm. I love the videos, it was really good. I already have this done, so most of the time your class will go a little slower because people have never seen or heard this before. Yeah. But you know that I teach on this, so I, I love it. I love vision. Without it, you can't do anything, right? Mm -hmm. so, and great skill without vision, you're not gonna make it in anything. So for me, my, my health goals were, it's funny, on my vision board, I would buy 10, and, and I'm not a nurse, but I worked in healthcare, so a weight is number, right, Sally? Number sign? Number sign? So I would do, like, I would put the weight that I wanted. So I start out at 265, so I would do on my vision board the number sign, 255. And then I would remove that when I hit it and I do 245 and then 235. And then one day I looked up and I'm like, my magic number was 135. Finally hit it. And my doctor said I couldn't be that. I had to go to 145. Was there, was there a specific reason why he said that? Or you yeah, just... bone, bone loss, uh... too much weight to lose. Mm -hmm. visualize it believe it make it happen so you know now my my goals have changed a little more just for strengthening and toning i stopped cardio i love cardio but i can't do that i have to strength training and i hate it but like i gotta run up and down steps i gotta do work my arms while i'm sitting here get, sit I'll just sit in the chair and all of a sudden I'll start doing this just up and down. And I hate it. That's so boring, but that pulls your, you know, it's, I'm starting to tone, but with that, I'm I, that puts muscle builds muscle. So you're, you're weighing more, mm -hmm. way more because you're building muscle. So, um, but you know, that's my, my health goals right now are to strengthen and tone. And I'm doing that from strength training and also products I'm using. 
So use a my trim and tone, use a my vitamin E, use a my stretch mark, do it yourself cream I make. So I'm make sure I do that before and after every shower and before bed. And that's a consistency, you know, to do that. But I'm already seeing results. Just hitting my arms with it, hitting my stomach, and I'm starting to see the, these products work. But you got to do it every day consistent. So those are things I've put to believe it's going to work, put it out there. That's my whys with my health. So, but I pretty much, my health goals, I'm meeting them, I'm hitting them. Um, yeah. Love it. Awesome. Hey, so just, it, you know, it was funny because I, I'm training for a marathon right now. So something that I've noticed also too, is just, you know, with losing weight, you know, you, you get, and especially when you're walking and running and learning to run, I have noticed, you know, that your skin is getting looser as you, as you lose weight also. But you know, my, that skin tightening formula that I have, I spritz that all over my whole body. I love it. Love it. But love I'll it. I'll tell you what, I'm very blessed with the skin I have. Uh, my doctor couldn't believe how tight it is. And I know it's from Supermix. Mm -hmm. No doubt in my mind, it's a Z-Act in our product, but it's not a hundred percent. You lose 130 pounds, you're going to have some loose skin, but most people can't even see it on me. I can wear so it's mm -hmm. just not that bad, but it's still there. So now I'm just taking extra, I'm doing some extra things, but yeah, I'd love to know your recipe. I'll try anything. Um, right now I've just been using straight up vitamin D trim and tone. And, um, what else? There's something else. Oh yeah. Some nights I'll switch it up and I use the genium body oil and I'll, la I think your skin sometimes needs to be tricked. So I rotate products. It seems like I, I'm in a good vibration with that. I can hold that bottle up to me and that if it feels right, I use it. I know that's weird, but I, I have a good intuition with things that mm -hmm. mesh with me. And so I've just, you know, it's been on my board in the last 30 days to really take effort in my skin and my hair. Remember you and I talked about my hair the other day. I'm yeah. going to get serious about growing my hair back out. And I'm starting to take some thing, do some things and put that out there. And I mean, you know, something like that, just, I want to grow my hair. What are you going to do to grow your hair? Well, I bought a good shampoo and conditioner that helps. I've talked to my hairdresser about the bleach and doing more dark. I mean, I'm taking measures and I put that down. I write that down. So, yeah. Let Sally talk though. I'm okay. good. I'm good. Yeah. yeah I'm not good. Sally. Carmen. I'm not good, so. <laughs> oh, Sally's got this. She's got this. <laughs> yeah. I have components of it, but it's most of it's in my head. Okay. And I don't execute. So when I went through Breakthrough, I had a really hard time, when I went through Kiwi's Breakthrough Training, a really hard time writing down my mission, my vision, you know, that, that exercise. And I would go back to those pages and I had, a, they're still blank. And I was revisiting, you know, um, watch your videos this morning because I've worked the last three days in a row, 12 hour days. So really today was my day to commit yeah. to you. And um, when I didn't have internet at home, we lost our power. So I had to go on a drive where I could pick up some, um, some internet. But anyway, so, um, that's where it's still not, even though I know I'm moving forward with my vision, it's still not on paper. And um, I do have a vision board up in front of me with many things are written and then I've started to print some things off and it's um, kind of a magnet white whiteboard at the moment. Um, so I've got components, but it's very fragmented. And that's been my MO for most of my life. I do things very fragmented. You know, you know what I, I used to do before, like I, I, I've always done pictures, but sometimes I don't do, I never used to do pictures. And you know how 
and I, I, I don't know why I thought of this, but you know how Batman and Robin back in the day, and they used to do like the pow, the wham, or whatever, and or or when people talk in the comics, you know how they have that little cloud with the little arrow to their brain, and that's what I used to do. Would be like that my cloud. I would just do in a cloud and say, um, pay my credit card off this month. I uh, would do another cloud. I, I want a microwave. I need a, a new microwave. Uh, this, uh, you know, uh, pay for this or do this and, you know, and kids' weddings and this and that. And it was always like, and I would have this big circle of clouds around me, you know, of all these things, especially if I didn't have time to, you know, sit down and uh, print pictures off and get pictures and cut them and that. And, and, and then I would, I'd have that piece of paper with me all the time. And then I would, I would, I would really like literally flip it every three months and then take them off and redo it. And, and, and that way it was always revolving faster mm-hmm. and loved it. Loved it like that. That is smart. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I mean, um, so I'm looking at my board. So my board right now, the top of it has like my word, you know, that I picked the beginning That's of the good. year, significant. And then my husband and I did it together. So we have kind of bullet points. Some of them are financial, a vacation, um, some uh, professional goals for him, professional goals for me. And they're really, you know, some of them are more specific than others, time sensitive. And then as I think of things, we print them off. Um, um, so, but it's still, I think I have to go back to, like you said, that vision statement that I can always go back to. Um, and I feel like just so many avenues of my life are coming together right now that um, like, I know I need to really focus also on my branding and what my, not just my, my mission statement is, but you know, what is it going to be for? for my coaching and then how does that align with Zija? How does that align with my lifestyle? Like it's, I'm getting clarity, but I'm clear. I'm not there yet. Um, all the components are there. They're just not tied together yet. So I'm really thinking that through your program, I, I will gain some more clarity. Well, yeah, well sure you're at least going to get your vision board up because Carmen does it and, small bites which will help you but and I'm not speaking but uh, as far as the branding Sally just know that you can still do your vision board without knowing all the vision and values of your brand yet yeah no I I'm clear on that and I think you know they'll it'll it'll push me along with knowing exactly you know what I want to be doing um and to kind of piggyback so I'm also doing Nicole's training her coaching program and so health is one of my main focuses within her program so that's going to correlate with you know us focusing on a vision board surrounding health so it's just so like phenomenal like how everything um comes together at the same time know, and all the coaches yeah so Carmen why don't you show us your vision board on health like with your marathon well okay so since I did my actual training I uh, put all my vision boards together now but my health uh, let's see here so my health is I've got uh, a bunch of people running in a marathon with their numbers on their chests and then a picture of a gym and you know and all the workout equipment a coach to 5k app is which is what I'm using right now to run I got a picture of runners because I uh, sneakers whatever because uh, I need a new pair of runners and uh, I just put body mind spirit and soul like there was just this little logo thing that I really like and so, and then what's my weight? Oh, I actually have here a picture of a scale uh, with, uh, with my goal weight on it. 
So that was kind of like my little health part that I had. I had, oh yeah, and then I have my products, my Zija products that I use here and a picture of a whole bunch of fruit and vegetables over here yeah. and, and that. So that was my health. Like it doesn't have to be a lot of things. Like it doesn't have to fill like a whole thing. It could be like three things. That's it, you know? Yeah. Uh, and and it's, it's something something that, okay, so once you make a decision about your health, well, i.e., okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do that couch to 5k. And, and then as I started doing it, like when I started, I could barely run 30 seconds. Now I can run 35 minutes in a row. Like, and just, and it's only been since February, like the oh beginning gosh. of February. Yeah. So wow. Carmen, are you running inside or outside? Inside. On a <laughs> you see my snow out there? <laughs> uh, it's actually finally spring. It was like zero today, which is like 32 for you guys. So it, it was finally looking like spring a little bit, but so everything are you, is still. Are you training on like a treadmill? Yeah, I have an elliptical, not a treadmill. Uh, and then I have, I have, it's like a bow flex, but it's a mini one. And, and then actually uh, a friend of mine, cause I said, I said something about, about my skin, like just, just at the beginning. What did it even say? Today's Wednesday. So that would have been like the end of last week. I said something about that. And, and um, he does lots of training in that. So I texted him and I said, like, what can I do to um, get more upper body strength? And he's like, well, do you have any resistance bands? And I said, yeah, I have lots. I said, Cause you know how you buy, uh, like it used to be back in the day, you know, buy a, a DVD disc, you know, set of a whole bunch of exercises or whatever. And, and you would get like a set of res resistance bands. And he said, he said, just go get an app. And I picked an app for $3 and 99 cents. The app was free, but if you want the bigger programs, you had to pay like four bucks and I got it. So now I'm actually going to do a program with resistance bands instead of weights. And then I can just sit here and, and do it and do whatever I need to. So I'm excited about starting to do that tomorrow. Yeah. And so it's just, it's just a little thing, you know, like it's not like a whole bunch of things and you have to do everything at once that makes it feel overwhelming, you know? Uh, like the food part of it, the Zija part of it, the weight part of it, the, you know, the actual running my marathon and just the little components that go with it. And it's all about once you make a decision about something and then you take action about something and whether, you know, each little step is towards something you you commit towards that you you take stock so so yeah i've been i've been running for like almost i guess well six weeks now so now last week i have to take stock so now i've got to start training a little more not just running you know so i'm taking stock of those little decisions that i've made along my journey of my health and wellness and mm -hmm. that's it so that's how that's how vision boards evolve you know it's not necessarily about things you know it's all about you know uh, about health okay well this week i'm gonna do this doesn't mean that it's on my vision board forever it's on my vision board for a week or you know or two weeks or or three months and then you can take it off and put it in your gratitude journal, you know? And, and when I first started vision board making, like in, in my, uh, it was actually listening to my own video today too. With it, you know, to, you have to refresh yourself. And it's been over, I said 15 years in my video, but it's been probably a good 22 already. 
years that I've been doing vision boards, but I never did a gratitude journal until I met Kiwi. Hmm. So, uh, but I kept all my vision boards like in the, in a big folder. And then, so then all my, all my little clouds and that it was, there was just papers and papers and papers of it just shoved in this yeah, little booklet. You had always done them on like eight, eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper. And then you went through breakthrough and you're like, Oh, I'm doing a board and you just now <laughs> did a board. So I love how yeah. we compiled our notes together. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I still had, I still had, Oh, where's my gratitude journal? Um, it's not in here. So I still had a picture of my vision board car that I wanted 11 years ago. And I actually put it in my gratitude journal last, uh, um, a couple months ago or yeah, about a month ago. And, you know, and, and said it, it, it was a great car for 11 years that I had it. And <laughs> I was just so grateful for it. So yeah, it, it, it's just, just about the little, you know, also, I wanted to say about, uh, about your why, you know? Okay. So why do you want better health in the next six months? Okay. So you could do long term too, but it, if it blows your mind so much that you can't think about that. I can say, tell you why, because I think it's right. good to share. Yeah. yeah. I think it's good to share. So I'll, I'll share like my why for better health was really the reason I made the decision to go through the steps I did for weight loss was to be more active with my kids, to be here for my grandkids, but not only be here, be able to run with them. Like when we go to Disney and not be out of breath, like get being able to get in the floor with my kids. I was so big. I could get in the floor. It'd take me five minutes to get up. I'd get up, but I could feel my body. I had read that for every 20 pounds, you can add 10 years to your life. So at the weight I was, I was 80 years old. I was in an 80 year old body. And when that hit me, I'm like, wow. when I keep gaining 10 pounds a year, 10 pounds a year, and I kept gaining and gaining, I'm like, I'm going to be dead before I have grandkids if I, at the rate I'm going. And if I am still here, my body's going to feel so old and bad that I'm not going to be able to do anything with them. And I don't want to be that grandparent. I want to be that grandparent that raises my grandkids, right? I don't want to be, I want to be heavily involved and I want to be involved. You know, I am involved with my kids, but that was my why. And it still is. Now it's to keep the weight off and maintain good health so I can be here for my kids. That's my why. And I also want to give everything I got to my clients. And if I, if I feel good, I can deliver myself and optimize my delivery, right? Because when we feel bad, right, when we're eating and we're overweight and we have high blood pressure, diabetes, and all this stuff, we can't give our best because we're, we're sick. We're sick. We feel bad. So anyway, I love it. I love your class. I don't want to take over. I, I, the rest <laughs> of the classes, I'll go... <laughs> well I have I have a 40th high school reunion in October so that's a goal for me wow and this weekend I'm getting together with some of my high school girlfriends we get together quite a bit but my weight my body image is a big issue for me so I, I have trepidation even when I, you know, and these are like really good girlfriends. Um, but I feel trepidation because I'm one of, you know, I maybe want, I feel like I'm one of the biggest uh, in size and weight, you know, of my, of my, you know, gal pals. And that's uncomfortable for me. And, and I'm already kind of feeling like, you know, a little trepidation about hanging out with them. Um, so, and now I'm thinking of like October when we have the bigger reunion, I'm already thinking about my body image. So I definitely, you know, this is going to be a big focus for me. So not only the health component, obviously that's big, mm -hmm. but in my mind, what's even bigger is the, the body image. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I go there so quickly, like the cruise, 
you know, the Zija cruise. When I see, you know, earn the cruise and all that kind of stuff. And this was with every company I've ever worked with. Earn the cruise to me is, oh, I don't look good in a bathing suit. It has nothing to do with an incentive trip. It makes me really small. And, and I think there's psychological stuff, you know, like I, I'll retreat because it's like, I don't want to earn a cruise because then I would have to go, you know, go on it. And if I go on it, you know, then I have to have whatever good in clothes that I don't look good in. So, yeah, there's a lot of unpacking there, Carmen, that you probably. Um, hey, yeah, you, know. you know what? I've uh, been there, done that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll do that sometimes. And, yeah. you know, and, and because. Because my, my weight loss journey is just starting, you know? I, I, in fact, I don't even know how much I weigh. I really don't because I can't step on the scale because it really heck, it just does things to this brain. <laughs> so I don't even know how much I've lost. I just know that I, I, I need a new bra. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the results. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I definitely, just the clarity you've given me by putting even just small things, you know. Yeah, yeah and you know what really jump-started me? Because even with uh, the Zija products and that, you know, um, about get, I was not getting the results everybody else was in the beginning, you know. And, and it really frustrated me. Um, I started, and I still took it every day, but one thing I really started was um, I did a cleanse. I did a three-day cleanse. And after that, wow, what a difference. Hmm. Now, I'll tell you something I use to lose weight. And it goes back to what you were saying, Carmen, about the app. There's an app called My Fitness Pal. I'm sure y'all have used it. But I mean, go really use it. Go plug in what you should have as far as protein and calories per day and start logging your food. And that will help you. Mm -hmm. And I hated the app. So I got the fitness uh, sheets. I made a sheet. And then I used the app. But... I started using paper when I knew what things were because in the app, it will tell you calories and food, proteins, carbs, all that. Yeah, I did do that for a while. I could go back to it. I was working with someone else who's in Zija who's, um, she has like 14 certifications in nutrition. You got to um, have that in front of you. You got to know what's going in, what's going out. Yeah. Yep, it's, just, right. it's all math. It's you got to burn off what you take in. I mean, I know, but I hate math. <laughs> <laughs> well, you like <laughs> spending money. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, there's clear, clearly more things I can be doing, and I like your suggestion of even if they're small, small steps. You know, yeah. remembering to, you know, take my. I have to take a vitamin D. I have to take two extra B supplements. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have a malabsorption disorder from celiac disease. I've got some things that make it, you know, I have some additional challenges and, um, but I don't want to have those be excuses. Um, so I have to nav you know, navigate, navigate that for sure. And I have a lot of food restrictions, a lot. So, um, you know, it's just kind of finding that combination. And I've been looking for the combination that works for my body for a really, really long time. You know, I've worked with Dory um, in her program um, and worked with her on the side a bit. Um, but I think no matter what, in terms of food, the moving, walking, just weight resistant. I've got it because I have lost a lot of muscle. Um, and a lot of the half, a lot of that has to do because of the malabsorption. I'm not retaining my nutrients. And then where does my body go looking for them? You know, it's pulling from muscle 
and bone and I have significant osteoporosis. I've had osteoporosis since my 40s. Mm -hmm. I'm 57 now. So I have, you know, I have some of those um, conditions already. Um, but I have been increasing my walking the last couple of weeks um, way more than I have for quite a while. So I'm, I'm making some some steps, but to put it on the board in front of me, I think that will even be better. Mm -hmm. So I like yeah. that idea. Yeah, just uh, put your, uh, like for walking, put yourself a goal of how many steps every day that you want. Yeah. That's what, it. Right. And then my, that's it. That's all you need. Yeah. One of my goals is I walk past an extra house because I'm do I am walking outside. I don't have a treadmill, even though it's, you know, six degrees, I go out and I'll walk. Um, and I'll just walk an extra past an extra house or two. And then the next day I go a little bit further and a little bit further. Um, and I was not going because like my husband walks a certain distance every day. And I'm like, well, I can't do that. So then I don't do anything. And he's like, just walk as far as you can. Mm -hmm. We don't have, we don't even keep the same pace. So it doesn't even make sense for us to go for a walk together. Um, so um, I was just making way too many excuses. So um, yeah, I like the, just the smaller steps, the smaller short-term goals make much more sense. You know, and, and just, yeah. And, and honestly, don't be so hard on yourself. Be grateful that you're doing what you're doing. And, and that's where that grabs comes in. Be grateful for that baby step. Be grateful for like making that effort in the first place. Be grateful and receive, receive your own gratitude because, you know, and then like the, the grabs, like, gratitude, um, receive, ask, believe, and then share. And, and this is what you've done already today. This is awesome. Yeah. The other thing that I, I do incorporate on my, when I walk, I always take a photograph because I live in an absolutely beautiful area. And then I typically take that photograph and I'll add a quote to it. So I make that a social media post as well. So I like to integrate that yeah. into my day. So it gives me content, which actually is part of my brand. I kind of feel, and I don't know if Kiwi's, I'm sure she's paying attention to me. Kind of my brand is where I live in terms of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So it all kind of mm -hmm. ties together. Where, where do you live? I live in Maine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. On, on the coast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, um, Carmen, I saw you had a Boston Bruins emblem on your vision board. Tell me about that. <laughs> the Boston Bruins is my husband's favorite team. It has been since he was a little kid. And I want to take him to a hockey game. I uh -huh. want to go to Boston and take him to a hockey game. Um, how old is your husband? My husband is 51. Okay. So he's yeah. like the... Bobby Orr era. Yeah. 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 I grew up in Boston. And yeah. um, so I used to go to the Bruins um, practices and, and met all of those players back in the 70s. And so that's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah I definitely noticed that on your vision board. Yeah, it, it, it'll happen in the next, uh, probably next year. Yeah, we'll go. But I, I want to go actually in the in almost in the springtime because I still want to be able to see, like, see the trees and leaves and the flowers and everything else. So I don't know. I don't know when a good time to go is, and to be able to do both. Yeah. Well, the fall. Anytime. Um, whenever you come, you'll see the best of Boston. Okay. You know the winter's great. Beautiful. You know lights and the fall is beautiful and the spring is great too so but well, let yeah. me know when you come because i have a lot of family still in boston we can make sure you're well taken care of oh wow thank you i will that'd be great yeah 
Yeah, I'm going to take him. Great. My, my, my husband is, is younger than me. So he, uh, he's like, he's like, <laughs> he, he came into my life when the kids were, oh, how old were they? Seven and 10. Oh, wow. So, yeah. He's, he's, he's helped me immensely. He's my rock. Yeah. But anyways, gals, yes, I want you to uh, uh, keep working on your vision boards. However, however uh, small or big your action is, you know, and so in turn with, with gratitude, like I said before, like giving something back um, to yourself for your health and, and thanking thanking yourself every day for something about it and in, in every area of your vision board as we keep on going through the weeks um, work really good and um, so next week next week or not next week tomorrow I'm actually going to release week two tomorrow just so that you have a whole week to go through it is this I didn't release week one till Monday, and I could I should have released it a little sooner. So I'll release week two, and and you have a whole week to do like week one and week two together, you okay. know. And yeah. and when I first when I first started doing when I first started doing the class, I made six separate boards, um, and then since then have just kind of melded everything together and taken off what I have and and that so um yeah it doesn't matter it just if it, you know i don't care if it's just one picture worth your health you know something okay yeah, we, yeah i have a new office and i off to the side here is completely blank wall so i um i'll definitely i'm gonna fill fill that up yeah uh, and, and you use uh you know, you can use an I am statement too, or uh, I think that, well, that, that's, that's next week. <laughs> but there's, you know, uh, like your, your quotes are so inspirational that you could put a bunch of quotes around walking. That'd yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Well, thank, yeah. Well, thank you ladies for this, this evening and this time. And uh, welcome to uh, Create Your Vision again, uh, week one, and uh, on your health. And we'll see you next week in group session again. And if you have any questions, just email me or message me. All right. Thank Along. you, Carmen. Bye, Kiwi. Bye, y'all. Good night. Good night.